Hello everyone, this is again USA Canada Visa Help and today we will be discussing about collecting an IELTS or any other language proficiency test score for Canada's student study permit. So why IELTS or any other uh, language proficiency, English language proficiency test is important because this is to uh, maintain the minimum requirement of an university for getting the offer letter as well as to convince the visa officer that you are good enough in communication and you can survive in Canada there will be no issue so this is crucial so first of all let's discuss about the comparative analysis of IELTS, TOEFL, PT and Duolingo so IELTS is of course this is the most widely accepted and most comprehensive test and TOEFL is also very widely accepted but a little bit less accepted than IELTS and also this is almost the same level of comprehensive test as IELTS but PT is not that much widely accepted just like IELTS or TOEFL this is very less widely accepted uh, than the first two and also this is a little less comprehensive than the first two but still it is a little bit comprehensive but what about Duolingo? Duolingo is the least widely accepted that it is introduced uh, just recently like in 2020 just uh, to manage people uh, get the university admission by taking an online test because at that time it was really hard to schedule IELTS, TOEFL, those kind of tests. So Duolingo just became popular that time. But this is the easiest test as well. And that's the reason many of the visa officers will not be convinced if there is a Duolingo result, a Duolingo test score available in front of them. If the application is weak in other aspects, and you also are submitting a Duolingo score, the chances are that your visa um, application may be denied. So um, I would encourage you to go through um, taking the IELTS test, if not possible, TOEFL, because the level of acceptance is highest for IELTS. And for Canada, of course, it's also very much uh, accepted and also TOEFL, but not PT and Duolingo are very popular to Canadian visa officers, of course. And now let's talk about the minimum requirements. So the better and above universities of Canada require 6.5 or 7 for undergrad and 7 or 7.5 for masters or PhD. And average or worse universities they accept six and uh, for master's level they accept 6.5 so six is the minimum requirement for undergrad and 6.5 is the minimum requirement for master's so if your university accepts your application with 5.5 be mindful don't go for it for canada because Canadian visa officers, they will obviously check the IELTS or uh, language proficiency test score, English language proficiency test score, because they judge the students everything, not just the offer letter and uh, the um, financial um, statement. That is not the only area the visa officers will look at. They will also look at your IELTS score or if it, if you have whether you have a GMAT or GRE score or SAT score or which university um, offered you the admission those things everything so be mindful if an university eventually offers you an admission with 5.5 for undergrad please don't go for it because chances are your visa will be visa application will be definitely be refused that is what always happens uh, something less than required or less than their acceptance level visa officers don't uh, become favorable for those kinds of applications so don't go for it so that's all and uh, we are here to help you in every way for your application and if you have any profession if you have any need for professional help 
we are here to serve you so you can always email us or you can always call us through the mobile phone or whatsapp so we are here to help so have a good day and uh, take care bye